Um, making new friends and just pretty much experiencing the uni life. It's something that's really completely different from high school. Yeah. My favourite aspect, um, I'd say the atmosphere, probably. The people and the lecturers and the tutors. Mm, the social side has been exciting. I didn't expect it. But it has been lovely meeting friends across the entire continents. The aspect I enjoy the most about uni is probably the social aspect. Yeah, it's awesome. It's like I've made way more friends than I have in my rest of my entire life. Okay, the, the best is, okay, everywhere I go, even if somebody doesn't know me, they smile, smile back. So that's lovely. So you feel, at least somebody is, yeah, you feel, you feel a sense of belonging, yeah. When you're in that close classroom environment and you can get to know the person properly sitting next to you. So I've made a um, few friends in my stats and accounting tutorials. Getting to know people from around the world. I've, like, I have a friend from Japan, from Portugal, like places I've never been to before and I would really like to travel with them one day. So that's another opportunity. Yes, I have made a lot of friends. Uh, one good thing about um, my class is that I have people from different countries. So we get to know when, when we are in class, we get to know their perspective and all. And it's exciting when we are sharing, when sharing their experiences from across all those continents. It's a good experience. I've liked it. I've loved it. It's good. Now I have made quite a few friends here who are Australian. I mean, in my class there are many international students, so it is also a new experience for me. People are from USA, from Canada, from different parts, of, from Africa and many other countries of Asia. So my class fellows are coming in the evening and they are working the whole day. So I can say my social life is not that much social in true terms uh, because uh, I get less time for interaction. I joined the science union, but everything is 18 plus, so I can't, I can't go. I get that uni is made for like people that are trying to be adults and they all do party stuff and get drunk, but I'll get there in two years. <laughs> um, I, as part of the Multicultural Student Union, um, we're having a ch charity concert and um, so I auditioned um, two days ago and I got the part so I'll be performing singing I'm really nervous about it but I'm willing to give it a go having a great time at Trinity it's lots of fun meet loads of people loads of people and there's always social things happening which I really enjoy um, well recently we had the um, the cross college lip dub which I don't know if you've heard of it no it's it's the big inter-college competition where like a couple of hundred students from each college get together and do a a one long video of um, people um, sing, lip syncing lip -syncing to a song. Uh, I am enjoying using this gym a lot. I didn't even know we had an art gallery until last week. <laughs> I, I, I am learning driving as well, so I have started driving, so I'm exploring different places as well. I like um, being able to walk around a lot when it's not raining and being able to study outside is pretty cool. The most challenging would be to keep up with the lectures, the readings and the assessment because no one checks pretty much. So I've missed a couple, but that's all right. I thought it would be about the same as high school, but it just got a lot harder, so. Um, probably the biggest challenge was just being that responsibility again, like part of it I feel I'm confident with, but other part is you need to write everything down, remember when's happening but not just uni stuff but social stuff like personal stuff when i need to be here when i need to meet with this person i'm not used to procrastinating this much like i'm used to doing things but now i just see something and it's so big that I, i'm just like no i'll stay away from it do anything except homework and not having a mum to nag you around when to do certain things. Most difficult or the challenging aspect of my uh, stay in the university till now, it has been the assignment. 
because we are having assignment uh, almost every day. I mean, I was not ex expecting that much uh, assignments, that much work. Because 5,000 words are too much. Studying a lot, especially recently, because I've lots of big things coming up. You start studying until 4 or 5 a.m. because you just have to keep studying. So I've, probably being tired has been one of the most challenging things, getting up in the mornings. I'm not used to studying a lot on weekends. And yeah, that's been a big change, like not having weekends anymore. I'm just always doing schoolwork. Zero, zero sleep. I think last night I had four hours. I had to get up at like nine for a tutorial and I went to bed at like five-ish, yeah. I am coming back to, I like, I mean, I'm going back to class almost after 10 years. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, the other reason could be because of the difference in academic culture. You know, adjusting to the system initially and adjusting now to Australia. Having come from a very remote um, country, Australia is so different from my home country. Uh, to cite an example, uh, when I had my internet connection, when I talked to them, I thought that the uh, connection fee would be 120. And when I got the first bill, it amounted to 427. And you know, it, it was so difficult. So I, I guess there are a lot of surprises coming in. I'm used to be able to just do my work at home because I was homeschooled, but now I have to factor in transport. And then yesterday there was this massive jam on Mounts Bay Road and it took an hour to get here just from Esplanade bus port. And yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. So. The most challenging, um, a couple of big family life events have happened recently, a couple of losses in the family um, and Uni is somewhere where you, you go, you go to your lecture, you take your test and you leave. It's, it's less personal than high school, it's less of accommodating for those events than high school um, in terms of attendance and numbers and that sort of thing. But again, I've just taken each day as it's come and um, it's been a personal sort of milestone learning to cope with, with those events and knuckle down with my family and get through it together. I absolutely love this campus, it's really tranquil and the peacocks, they make me happy <laughs> and it's, it's, it's a really good environment, it's a really good learning environment especially um, like when I'm, whenever I'm feeling down and stressed, you know, um, I just go out to the oak lawn or something like sitting under the tree and just breathe. <laughs> Because sometimes I, I forget um, just how to be mindful and take care of myself.